All right, RC enthusiasts, check out what I got on my build table this go around. This airplane is so slick that guess what? Yeah, they gave it the name Slick. This is the uh, one of the newer versions from the conglomeration of 3D Hobby Shop and Extreme Flight now that they're merged. Pretty neat airplane, 79 inch wingspan. I chose to stick the old tried and true DA-50 on it. Believe it or not, it was a used DA-50, one I sent back to DA and had reconditioned. And I've already flown this airplane. I just got it back here on my table, checking nuts and bolts and making sure she didn't shake anything loose. Flies pretty good. It's extremely agile. Will wad up with just the flick of a stick. So let's see. Let me go over and pop the lid and we'll have a look in it and check out my little orange headed bobblehead. I'll show you how I did that in a minute but let me open her up alright here's the view down the inside for anybody that's seen any of my previous videos this is not my first large build and so a lot of the equipment I use is redundant the biggest thing I changed this go around was the servos I went with a different servo this time. I don't know if my camera will focus on this or not and it's not going to but it is the HS 7954SH from High Tech. It's a steel gear, gear train versus the titanium ones that I've used in the past. Still making somewhere around 400 ounces of torque I believe. You'd have to look up the specs. I don't think I'll post them but they should be just fine for this airplane. When I flew it the other day they didn't seem to be weak in any manner. A little bit cheaper than the uh, titanium drivetrain too, so anytime you can keep the cost down, that's nice. Got my three lithium polymers that strap right in this area nicely. I come around this side and I got my same old switch and fuel dot that I like to use. This covering for anybody that's interested in this new style covering, this printed one-piece covering, interesting stuff. Very thick. Um, you, if you're going to do any uh, any edges with your sealing iron, you got to have your iron turned all the way up. And I'll go ahead and tell you that little sock, the white sock that goes on there, it sticks. I found a paper towel works better. Just put the paper towel over the covering you want to seam seal and hit it with an iron, turn way up but it's pretty neat stuff. You can tell it's printed when you get down on top of it. You see the little imperfections where it didn't fill in all the way and it even bleeds a little bit. But the neatest thing, and it's, I don't know, you can call it neat or not, but it chips. In the areas where it's tightly curved and something bumps it, it chips like paint. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. So, But I think it's going to be pretty good in the long run. I know it's gorgeous. Out in the sunlight, it's absolutely beautiful, and this 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 light in here does it no justice. But believe it or not, this this orange paint has pearl flakes in it. It's absolutely gorgeous in the sunlight. So, use my standard SWB servo horns that I like. A 17 ounce fuel tank, Dubro, my own little fuel dot that I make, or excuse me, end cap for the Dubro tank that I make. I uh, changed up on the throttle servo this time too. I ran a little bit different one, and you excuse me for a second, I'll hold the camera off to the side while I read it. HS5495BH, because you can't see that, and I'm sure I'll post it at the bottom of the screen like I usually do. Carbon gear, nice plane, really like it. Uh, instruction book was pretty lacking, so I'll make sure I'm going to get down here where I had the biggest challenge which was cutting out the cowling. Nobody wants to open their cowling up any more than they have to. I poked that little DA-50 out because the book showed, I believe, a picture of a 91 inch extra with what looked like a DA-60 hanging out of it. So the picture in the book was absolutely no help. So what I'll do now is I'll actually flip the plane on its back and get you some better shots of that for anybody that's interested in hanging a DA-50 in one of these with a pit's pipe for that matter. So, let's flip her over. Alright, here we are. 
I'll give you guys a really nice view of how I cut my cowling out for anybody that's interested. Note the distance between the lines, the painted lines. You got to put a pretty big hole in it. The hole in the back looks larger than it probably needs to be, but I can assure you that not only does that help let hot air out of the cowling, I had to cut it that big in order to be able to get it on and off. So don't be afraid to put two decent sized symmetrical holes in it. Like I said, I did already fly this airplane and I did end up having to open this up a little bit more. I had it a little bit smaller than that and uh, after about two or three flights it started chafing my, my wire. So I ended up wrapping my wire in electrical tape for the rest of the day. And I went ahead and opened it up a little bit further today and then I just took some neoprene fuel hose and split it and glued it around here and we'll give that a try. See if that helps. It's kind of neat looking. Or at least it's not terrible looking, I should say. Let's see, what else can we look at while we got her flipped over? I've already cracked my wheel pant. I don't know how I did that. I didn't think I landed it that hard or hit any bad holes, but apparently I did. Either that or, I don't know. Make your own opinion. I've already got a cracked wheel pant and I flew it eight times. That's disappointing. Cooling holes in the bottom. Not a whole lot to look at, other than looking at the printed scheme again. That's so smooth. Another shot of the servos. Still ain't going to zoom in on them. Oh well. Alright, I'll pop the cowling off and we'll have a look at all that. Alright, back on our feet. And there's our DA-50. And I mentioned earlier that this was a used motor. I don't know much about it. Other than I owned it at one point in time and then sold it off on an airplane and I bought the airplane back just to get the motor off it just to build it up for this. So I sent it back to DA and let them freshen it up and they ended up putting a new back plate on it for me and doing a few other things and put me a fresh new wire on here which for anybody that doesn't know they do that don't be afraid. If you got one that's all messed up you send that ignition box back to DA and they'll put you a brand new spark plug lead on there did an excellent job on that. I was, I was honestly as bad a shape as this ignition box was in. I thought they were going to tell me I was going to have to buy a new one, but they fixed it. They are excellent workmanship, those guys. Also very polite on the phone. Uh, this pit pipe. Uh, it was on the motor when I bought it. I don't even know what brand it is. I doubt the camera is going to see, be able to see it, but there's a number stamped right here. SL2123. I have no idea who made it. Don't even know how old it is. But it fits nice. I was happy about that. The only thing I had to do to make it fit was I had to bevel the um, firewall here. I guess we'll call that the I'm gonna call that the firewall. Beveled the firewall just a little bit and it popped right on. Because I've seen some builds where people hang the standard pipe on them and I just you know, it, it, to me it butchers the cowling where the standard pipe hangs out and you get a big old gnarly gnarly hole in the cowling, but. Which, if I had to buy a pits pipe versus a stock one, I probably would have bought the stock one too. Because, like I said, it was on the motor. I didn't have to spend the extra coin for the pits pipe. So, DA's two inch standoffs, two and a half inch standoffs. I can't remember. I have to go back and look at the book. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen to correct. It's either two or two and a half. My favorite little fuel filter. That thing is awesome. I've got one on my Yak. I put one on my Buddy's Edge. For anybody that's seen those videos, they know that. I love these things. They have not given me a problem yet. Well, with the exception of my buddy's yak, or excuse me, his edge, we had an issue with the smoke system we put on it and got some smoke oil on it and it swelled that O-ring up and we had to change that O-ring. But that's it. That wasn't the filter's fault. My O-ring wasn't going to put up with that smoke oil. Pretty nasty stuff. Choke rod. Made me a little bracket out of a piece of aluminum. Choke rod sticks right there just inside the cowling. I can reach with my fingers and pull it. So let's see here. Let me take a moment and gather my thoughts and make sure I didn't miss anything. Bam! And through the magic of dead camera batteries, it's all back together now. Crazy, huh? I did remember what I also wanted to highlight. Canopy latching system. Excellent setup. You got the quick release tabs on both sides. For those of you that want to run this thing as an electric, that's awesome. And then you have the thumb screws to back them up 
for those of us that like to run gas to make sure that these little latches don't let the canopy go flying off. All right, bobblehead, orange. Can't buy that. I made that. I'll tell you how I made that. Came out pretty good. For those of you who know that I have a yak, I finally tore up my yak. Went down to Huckaween and I didn't fare so well. So I got a brand new yak in the box. Got to put it together. So what I did was I took my spare bobblehead and I painted him. You start out with red bobblehead and get you some Chevrolet engine orange paint. That's the old color they used to put back on the uh, engines back in the muscle car days. And combined with that red, I, I can only assume that it reacted with that red underneath, but uh, it's hard to tell because that canopy's tinted a little bit, but I'm telling you, if I had him out there holding it up to that orange on the side of that plane, it is really, really close. Came out spectacularly. So, anybody want an orange bobblehead to match their slick? Start out with a red one. Shoot them with some orange. Chevrolet, engine orange. And go get that part number right there. If you need to. I don't know what else to tell you guys. If you have any questions, comments, fire away. We'll answer them. We'll have conversations. It's all about fun. Fly safe. Have a good day.